All right, welcome guys. So me being a total idiot and uh, trying to beat Battle 180 by coming up with some fancy talent tree setups and fancy team setups just to discover that you can just beat it by simply quitting quitting the battle once you uh, once they start regenerating and all the damage is going to be saved. I did reset my talent tree and made a horrible, absolutely terrible, horrible, absolutely terrible <laughs> talent tree. And I feel like this is a good chance for me to reset it again and uh, actually rebuild it. I wanted to change my talent tree for a while, but uh, I think this is a good opportunity to, to make um, a talent tree video on my main account for endgame players. So the things I think are extremely important for endgame players. There's going to be a few notes that I'm going to go for, for sure. It's going to be brutal ending for me because I have a lot of brutality gear. Again, if you don't, maybe it's not something that you want. So I definitely want to get brutal ending and I definitely want to get uh, Shinex teaching and Revenant. And for support, I'm, I'm just going to drop the remaining points in support. So let's go and uh, build the tree. So for offense, I actually want... To go a little bit different route i want to put some more damage into this so basic attack damage boost versus blocked attack deal more damage well i have i i use block breaker all the time let's be honest so i'm just gonna go for this acquire just one just one is good enough one percent amazing right here precision 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 all the way critical hit chance isn't my bad well, it's still precision. I, I, for some reason, I thought precision was the the critical chance increase. Oh, because it's in Shadow Fight. Shadow Fight has a perk called precision that increases your critical hit chance, critical hit damage. I think. Anyway, I would go for critical hit damage. You you cannot go wrong with them with some extra critical hit damage. Let's go to the next one. Here we're gonna have critical hit chance, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Yep. Acquire. Now, this one is only increased by 3%. This is good. Having some extra criticals, especially in the towers, is very important. I think I'm gonna max this node out. But first, let me let me assign all the nodes that I want to get, and then I'm just gonna spread the existing points in the end. So, uh, since I need to get to the brutal ending... Critical hits, 2 more percent power... Eh. Special 2 damage boost, that is good. Oh, that is good. I'm actually doing a lot of special 2s. So I'm gonna acquire that. All right, beautiful. Let's add another five points. And also my attack increases as I climb the tree because like every five points you get into it, you get some extra attack. Uh, let's see what we got. Lightning blow, disable enemies, no. Combo energy deal 20% damage to all targets. Unblockable, uh, yeah, we're gonna go for combo enders. I might actually increase my precision chance just so I can get more combo enders and do more brutalities. It's useful for tower bosses to be able to do... Like, I, I died so many times when I could have done brutality, but it didn't work. So, I, I, maybe. We'll see. I haven't decided yet. And here we go for brutal ending and max out this puppy. We need that 100% here because I use brutal ending all the time. It's very important. Alright, let's go for support then. I mean, for defense, my bait. I'm gonna go for resistance to all debuffs. Very important, especially in the current tower. I think before I, I used to have a Rhino Stance to get less damage, but honestly, debuffs are so annoying, especially in, in, in the current tower. So for now, I'm just gonna go for this. I might actually max this one out. It's, it's so important, especially with the Cloak of Argus. Being resistance to debuffs is extremely important. So my talent tree might change once in a while. It depends on which tower is on. Depends on what's meta currently. Uh, opponent, opponent blockable attack chance reduction. Critical hit chance reduction. Lethal blow immunity. Okay, so a blockable attack chance reduction. I wonder if this works on gear. Like if, for example, the gear gives him forty percent. This is, I mean, four percent is nothing. Honestly, critical hit chance reduction. Mm. I don't know. <sighs> I feel like cri everybody does critical hits, but not all the enemies have unblockable gear, so I'm gonna go for this one. Okay, next, please. Thank you. We got some health bonus. What do we got here? Oni's blood. 10 less damage. 
special attacks. Uh, so the thing is, most of the time my enemies launch special attacks on me because I usually have unblockable gear, which means I recharge their power by just destroying people. So they, they do more special attacks to me than basic attacks. So I'm gonna go for blocked special attacks. Here we go, one point in here. There is no reason to put any more in here because every next point will only give you two extra percent, which is nothing. Here we're gonna go for most likely ghost armor. Let me check, what is that? Uh, no, never mind. I, I totally forgot my talent tree. Shield break resistance, power... Uh, okay, actually, no, we will go for this. The extra power is always nice. Let's add five more points. Let's see what we got. Come on, load. Red Dragon training. We got stun and power drain resistance. Uh, okay. Dots have decreased duration. Oh, that can be very important for the current tower. Rinse dots on special attack use. It's only dots, though. If it was any debuffs, I would def definitely go for that. But here, 30% decreased duration on dots is a lot of saved health. So I'm going to go for this. And there is literally no point to put any more points in this. You get 4% increase. You start with 30% and you get only for one point and then 4% for each next point. It makes no sense to add more points into this one. And here we obviously go in for Revenant and Bone Shield. The only battle where I didn't want to have Revenant and why I reset this whole talent tree was battle 180. Because Revenant gives an extra chance for your enemies to heal because the whole team is outworld with they have that katana but turns out i didn't need it after all <laughs> uh, i hope you i hope you watch that video before you attempt your own battle 180 that was a sad sad battle my friends so yeah we're maxing out revenant definitely needs need to get it as high as possible and bone shield two easily best talent trees things in the whole talent tree shinnex teaching let's do this we're gonna max this puppy out. Thank you. Alright, and now we're stuck with 16 points, which means we can max out four more nodes. Uh, unless I want to put something in support. Let's see. Shield Stun, shield break. Ah, that is good. I use some stun and shield break to entire team. That is so good. Recovery boost. I play a lot of survival. You know what? We're going for recovery boost. Might as well. Just one point here. Let's see what, what else can we... Teamwork was nerfed severely. So, I, honestly, I don't think I'm going to go for it anymore. Spec up tactics. You know what? I think I'm done with the support tower. I think this is all I'm going to put in here. Boot, boost again. No, no, there's nothing to go here for. Honestly, like, weak point attacks would be nice. But you will have to drop a lot of points into this. And honestly, Brutal Ending for me is more useful than weak point attacks. The teams I'm using for towers already have Snare on them, so it's it's fine. And now I just need to, uh, to you spend 15 remaining points on other stuff. You probably have 100 points, not uh, 102. Only people who were playing since like 5 years ago have 102 points. So uh, you probably have only 13 points left. So you just you just put the points into the nodes that you uh, you think you're going to be using the most. I'm going to max out my critical hit chance. Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to go 8, 11, 14, 17, and 20, no, 17. <laughs> then I'm going to max out resistance to debuffs. Honestly, super important for this tower. Plus, it, it's, a, it's a really decent resistance. We get 24%, which is really good. It's like 1 out of 4. Oh, oh it's only 20. Alright, 1 out of 5 then. And we have 7 more points left. Let's see what I want to mix out from these nodes. You know what? I'm going to go for precision. Combo ender chance is really good because of the brutal ending. Unless I want to increase my uh, basic damage boost. It's only 1% though. In towers, it's not gonna change anything. You're getting like thousands of percents from the gear. So I'm, I'm mainly concentrating on towers because on my level, with my characters, I can pretty much beat anything else. Survival also is I can take into account. Uh, wait, where is, where is the recovery? I want to max out the recovery. 
Should I max out the rec It only gives me extra 3%, and I already got 10, so no, I'm not gonna max this out. I'm gonna max out something in offense. This this only adds 2%, there is literally no no point to give it, give, give it any points. When you when you're trying to assign points, always look at the increase. Like, look, one point gave me ten percent, and now another point will give me only four percent. That doesn't sound like a good deal. This will only give me three percent. Again, doesn't sound like a, that great of a deal. Here, however, we get a five percent combo ender chance. Ah, screw it. I'm going for it. I'm gonna put three points in here, not four. And now I have four points to max out one more node. Which is which, which 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 node should I go for? Let's think. Should I go for some critical hits, damage boost? Uh, I kind of want to. I kind of want to. I kind of want to damage, man. Or, or, I mean, I'm trying to reduce my opponent's critical hits. I I guess I'm going for damage. I guess I'm maxing out. I'm gonna max out precision actually. And I'm gonna go for Linkway to 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 to, to, to ridge. yes, and put all my points in here. All right, yeah, this is my new talent tree. I'm gonna be rocking this for a while, at least for the duration of the current tower. I think it's a pretty decent one for me, at least. Again, everybody has different priorities and different needs. All right, thank you for watching Talent Tree Guide 2021 for 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 the end game players. This is my opinion. Let me know in the comments what would you change. And thank you so much for watching. A lot of people have been asking for a Talent Tree Guide for my main account, so here it is. Perfect opportunity has arised. And don't forget to subscribe because a lot of fun videos are coming soon. And goodbye.